good evening, morning, and variations thereupon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm the Slug Disco Community Manager, if anyone isn't uh, familiar with me. Uh, and welcome to the first of our vlogs. Now, um, this is going to be a new format. It's going to be a counterpart to the uh, newsletter, which we do bi-monthly. This uh, vlog should also be roughly bi-monthly as well, in between the newsletters, kind of working together. So uh, uh, this uh, vlog will cover some stuff that the last newsletter did, but also things that will come in the next newsletter. So that's how it's going to work. Now, I haven't come up with a snazzy name for this vlog yet. So this one will just be called Slug Disco Vlog 1. Please let me know if you come up with any better ideas than that. I've been racking my brain. So the vlog won't just cover Empires of the Undergrowth, it'll also cover the other games that uh, Slug Disco publishes, so Beetle Uprising, and uh, more recently of course Ecosystem, and of course Adapt. Now it's not going to be just me doing these, occasionally the other guys will jump in, particularly Dan, our marketing manager, he's much more involved with the other properties, whereas um, I, m I mainly concentrate on Empires of the Undergrowth. On the topic of Empires of the Undergrowth, um, we're here now a couple of months post Fire Ant update, and that update went extremely well. Um, it was almost universally well received. There are some issues with balance that some people have been concerned with, particularly with food amounts given by creatures. We haven't had our internal discussion yet to decide what, if anything, we're going to do to redress that. So uh, that'll come in a, in a future vlog or newsletter, we'll talk about that. Uh, but other than that, everything went down very well, particularly you guys love the artwork and the music and the more kind of cinematic feel to the uh, um, end of level animations. Uh, it's been fantastic to see the, the feedback and everything. So thank you very much, everyone who's got in touch. You're probably interested to see what we're doing next with the project. Well, obviously, uh, the project will end uh, at least to get to version 1.0 uh, when tier 5 is released. And we're not quite ready to talk about the ants that are going to be featuring in that part of the game yet. But uh, in the more immediate future, we have a few things to, to discuss. So the most pressing priority for us is a feature that's long overdue, and that is a tutorial mode to the game. Uh, by far the biggest reason that people give for refunding Empires of the Undergrowth is that we've not got great onboarding or a tutorial system. And also lots of people, to be honest, don't read the tips that pop up in the corner. And so you can see on the screen now just some footage of tutorial mode as it currently stands. Uh, it's almost finished, we're just waiting on localization for it. Obviously, we want uh, all of our supported languages to have the tutorial at the same time. It's also time for us to get back to releasing our semi-regular extra levels. In the not-too-distant future at all, you're going to get Adventure. Now, this is a really exciting level. It's a long-form leaf cutter level with some really unique mechanics uh, and an XP system. And you'll be able to finally uh, fight against the Velvet Worms, which were the creatures we had to cut, sadly, from the third tier. Eventually, we will be retroactively putting the Velvet Worm back into the 3x levels. But in the meantime, you'll have Adventure to fight them in. I don't want to give too much away about Adventure. There's some cool stuff in there. Uh, I'd rather you just play it, or at least wait for the trailer. Several of the older extra levels will be getting a sequel. For example, Occupation will be getting the very, very imaginatively named Occupation 2. And this one will feature little black ants, Monomorium Minimum, instead of black ants like the first one did. But the style will be pretty much the same, but with a few twists and turns, we're not going to do just a carbon copy. Uh, other ones include Tug of War 2 and The Culling 2. Looking forward to doing the, uh, the video for that one. Now, those of you who follow the newsletters will have seen in the last edition that we included a roadmap, which kind of gives an idea of where we're headed, but without dates for the most part, because we're still very much aware that we are not great with um, nailing exactly when our updates are going to come out. So for the most part, you'll notice it's dateless. Uh, things will be released when they're ready, and you'll get a little bit of notice for most of it. The largest fairly nebulous part of the roadmap is called the Great Interim Update Period. The biggest component of this is by far going to be changes to free play. Now, it's not a gigantic, massive overhaul this time, but uh, free play will be getting plenty of new additions, uh, new uber creatures, uh, new maps, at least one new map. John's working on one called the Wetlands, which will be themed in the swamp. And then, of course, plenty of things like um, the main one being the uh, updated AI. Now, 
Uh, Liam uh, worked on a much more sophisticated AI system for the 4X levels, uh, which will be fed into free play. Also, uh, here's one that's been a long time coming as well. Uh, the 1X levels don't have their own tile set. They use beach. Uh, they use the beach tile set, uh, as I'm sure some of you have uh, rec recognised. We have a dedicated uh, environment artist in the form of Daniel Coates, who's done some wonderful work for the fourth tier. So we thought it'd be a good idea to, now is the time, to go back and add uh, some tiles for the rotten log. So here's a very quick preview for that. Um, it's not finished yet, but uh, it shouldn't be too far into the future. And that's our first vlog. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I say, these should come roughly once every other month in between the bi-monthly newsletters. And we'll experiment with the format a bit. It's all quite fluid at the moment. So thanks very much for that. And I will see you next time. Almost universally well received. There are some issues with balance, um, which some people have, uh, have... There are some issues with balance. That's... And also lots of people, to be honest, don't read the tips that pop up in the corner. We know you don't do it. You should, but you don't fight against the velvet worms which were the creatures we had to cut sadly from the third tier because we they have because they have because they had a unique movement system first and foremost uh, we are long overdue this feature we are introducing holy there's a fly